I'm Mike Hart. Here's a look at what we're following on this Tuesday. The suspect that shot a CHP officer during a traffic stop in Studio City has been taken into custody. Officials say the 33 year old man was found in Van Nuys. Investigators say the unidentified officer tried to pull over a car about 8 o'clock last night when the suspect refused to stop, eventually pulling into a parking lot where the shooting took place. The officer was taken to Cedar sinai Medical Center where he's listed in critical but stable condition in the ICU this morning. Officials say a police bloodhound was able to track down the suspect to a tent in Van Nuys where he was found with several other people. There's no indication as of this hour as to why the man shot that officer. A massive retirement ceremony this morning to mark the 245th anniversary of Old Glory. Green Lawn Southwest honored National Flag Day by hosting an official retirement ceremony. Officials say this year more than 2,000 flags will be retired. This happens when a flag is torn, tattered, faded, or is beyond repair. The official ceremony takes place on June 14th. The young Marines began with a special flag folding event, followed by the Sons of the American Revolution, followed by a gun salute and taps. The flags are then marched to the crematory by local branches of our military. And today's also the 245th birthday of the U.S. Army. All right, let's switch gears and bring in Veronica, get a check of that Tuesday forecast. Hey, good morning. A windy day ahead of us, especially for our desert and mountain communities. Here on the valley floor, we're getting some breezy conditions, which will hopefully keep us a little cool with these temperatures. 90 today, 98 tomorrow, and then we're hitting our high of 99 by Thursday. But as we get closer to this weekend, we're getting back into those 80s. 82 on Saturday, and then 83 on Sunday, just in time for Father's Day. Now our mountain communities, Lake Isabella, seeing 87 on Tuesday, warming up into those 90s about midweek, but cooling back into those 80s and 70s for this weekend. Attach me in Fraser Park in those 70s today, warming up into those mid and upper 80s as they head into their midweek, but cooling back into those 70s by Friday and then getting into those 60s as they head into this weekend. Once again, a cool off just in time for Father's Day. And that's a look at some of the stories we're following at this hour. Don't forget for breaking news, weather and traffic anytime, anywhere. Download our free mobile and tablet apps.